Hi guys, Dave Mad Max 6 and we are back at the Mecca Goldstream Venice and it's a beautiful day of March, mid-March and uh, we have uh, some new blood. I love having new, some new blood and I'm not talking about Silvio. <laughs> he, although he, he's not old blood, he's, uh, he's a veteran now. I can't believe we call him a veteran. Uh, we have Errol Moore, uh, which is a 212 competitor, is doing the Indie Pro in just two weeks. Errol, welcome to the show, man. We're glad to have you. Me. Thanks for having me, guys. So, I'm excited to be here. Uh, my first time shooting with Mad Max and J Color TV, so I'm really excited about this opportunity. So, let's get started. All right, so we want to talk a little bit about, about your beginnings. Um, you're, you're a young guy, just uh, competing in the 212 for a few years. Tell me how you guys started in the bodybuilding game and, and uh, you know how you get into the 212, and now you actually. Uh, you don't look at 212. I gotta say, I don't know yeah, how you're gonna make weight because he looks he looks 230 right now to me, and he's in shape. So, so tell me a little bit about about your beginnings, Errol. Uh, you know, the funny thing is, I, I first was introduced to bodybuilding probably about 10 years ago. I saw the Muscular Development magazine. Uh, some guys at the gym recommended I should give it a try. Based off the pictures, I was like, no way, it's not gonna happen. That was not my thing. Fast forward a little bit later, I actually met uh, Victor Martinez at Muscle Beach. And um, uh, just seeing a guy of that size and that magnitude, um, it just blew my mind. I, think, I believe that was 2008. And uh, he kind of introduced me to the sport of bodybuilding, kind of encouraged me and told me I should give it a shot. That kind of planted a seed it was always in the back of my mind. Uh, fast forward a few la years later, I actually decided to do my first competition. And from there I got hooked, so. What year was that for competition? Ooh. Oh man, it was probably about nine years ago. So, okay. Uh, I did my first show. I uh, did pretty well, and then I shut it down after that reason being I saw how expensive the sport was, and uh, I knew in order for me to do it the right way, I need to have my finances in, correct, in order, and from there I just kind of focused on getting the job and got my career going, and then I recently dove back into it, I want to say about three years ago, I got back into the sport, so. When did you get your pro card, what show? Uh, I got my pro card at Nationals, I want to say, it was two years ago, 2018? Uh, 17, yeah, yeah no, we're 19, yeah. Yeah, 2017. So. Okay, nice. Yeah. In what ca in what class? I got my pro card in light heavyweight. So light heavyweight. My class. There. 198. Okay. So and then the following year, I did the New York Pro, my first pro show at 212. How'd it go? Um, didn't go as planned. <laughs> I got it's a different ball, ball game. The pros, ball game. huh? So yeah. I was I was, uh, I was a rookie. I remember, uh, I remember that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. He's he backstage with me. He's like, man, focus and kind of yeah. trying to hype me I up, man. I, was I, I told him straight. I said, look, don't look at anybody. Focus on yourself, and then just have the confidence. You know, don't be scared because he was just bad. He's sitting down like, nerve what, uh, yeah. <laughs> what am I into? So I told him, I said, no, look, keep on focus on yourself. This is just a start. Give yourself a shot. We're gonna come on, come in little by little. Take this as an experience. It's a first experience. That's how we walk on. We all yeah. start from somewhere. That's right. And I'm glad he did really take it and uh, he stepped up the game even up to now, which I'm really impressed by what he's doing. Ah, uh, so after New York, what happens? So after New York, I uh, decided to shut it down. Um, I got, uh, you know, just decided to take, take, take some time off. Uh, try to focus on bringing a little more quality, a little more size, and then um, just go right back to his prep uh, here for the So, Have you always been in California or you just moved? Uh, correct. So I've always been, I grew up in Southern California. Okay. And then I lived in the Bay Area, San Jose area. Okay. Uh, for about seven years. And then I moved back down to SoCal, I want to say about five, five six years ago. Okay. Um, and then I've been in LA for three years now. And you've been training with Charles. Most correct. of the time, so, you actually, Charles is not here today, but most correct. of the time you train with Charles. Yeah, correct. Right? So I actually uh, linked up with Charles uh, when I first uh, came to Gold Venice. Um, kind of took him under his wing. Uh, didn't even know anything about my bodybuilding career. Didn't know anything about my aspirations to be a bodybuilder. He just knew I loved to train. And uh, I don't think Charles ever looked at my physique for the first year of us working together. He just saw the fact that I was hungry and I was excited about working out. And so from there, he kind of just mentored me and then kind of blossomed from there, so. That kind of sounds familiar, Silvio, huh? <laughs> that's right, that's right, that's right. <laughs> you know, Silvio, when, when Silvio got the gold, we yeah. used, he used to live in Orange County at the time. So right. he would do the drive with me every single day from Orange County, from uh, Fullerton, right? Fullerton, from yeah. Fullerton to Gold every day just to train with Charles. We'd come and sleep on my couch at yeah. the Max Muscle store after, and then we'd go back home with me every day. We did that every wow. day for how long? How many years? It was close to four years. Yeah. Four years wow. That's commitment. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. So now, 
we had the chance when you told me oh Silvio was gonna be with me in the shoot today I didn't know that so I was excited because yeah. of, of course I've always been a huge fan of Silvio's we go way back right. 2007 when he you know first his uh, first year as a pro and rookie of the year with Hitatara and everything so Silvio um, you always looking out for the new guys man you always focusing on yourself and always making sure you progress your your career is progressing but you're always looking out for the new guys yeah. you're always helping out it's awesome, dude. Tell me what it's been like to training with with uh, with Errol. Five five weeks now only, yeah, right? Uh, it's getting getting there. You know, Errol has been a, a kind of inspiring person to me from the very first day. Like he said, we met at uh, we even met before the uh, New York Pro. So uh, there is instinct in me that you always you know get attached to new guys because I knew how I started. You know, even though there was no help uh, from the meeting up with the people that I expected to have helped that had been in the game so I stooped into learning myself alone so that inspiration of knowing what I know also instincts me every time to the guys that are upcoming that they might not know I want them to know the basic ways the main thing the important thing on how of how to be a good bodybuilder not just to live on the knowledge of people that don't really try all excel in what they are doing but they just want to put up things there that can't take them to anywhere so that inspired me more on uh, i see the hard work he has been doing i see the improvement even now uh, the being knowledgeable to you know give himself a break and then come back with a good quality and then willingly wanting to learn is really what attracted to most of the upcoming guys because most of them don't want to learn they want a fast lane they want to stoop into things that, you know, how can I be this tomorrow, you know, without yeah. even knowing that they have to work. So he has ability to work and he has ability to learn also. That really attracts me more. So when Charles, you know, inspired him to come around and then we, he's going to be training with me. Really, I was so excited and, uh, and I really, uh, he's been coping up uh, and to the point that I know he's preparing for the coming show now in the pro show. So uh, to me, it doesn't matter. I'm not competing now until May. So I have to give all the time and then he has to call the shot. Then I gotta go by the floor so that he's inspiring more. To I, I was gonna say, uh, you say you're not competing. When we guys are training together, it's hard. I mean, I can tell it's a little leaner than you, but you're in great, great shape right now. Great so shape, yeah. I'm sure people are gonna watch the like, What do you mean? Are they both competing in the show? <laughs> so, yeah. I'm sure you guys are pushing each other in yeah, that absolutely. regard, right? Yeah, uh, pushes me all the time. Um, Every day, just so many little details on how to improve my physique. Uh, he takes time even after done training, he kind of sit down with me, go over some extra things. Uh, every every time I've called him, he's picked up and he's responded <laughs> back, and I blow him up a lot. So, uh, yeah, so you know, you know, the, the, the interest about somebody is is when, when you are inspiring to help, it's not about what I can gain from somebody. But I mean, when you help, you don't need to think about what am I going to get from that person. And when you help, you decide to help, you gotta know that you gotta help till the end, until the end result. So we are working till the end result. That's why at times it's so much fun of, you know, giving me thanks. I say, no, you gotta give thanks to God because he crosses us together. And then what you gotta do, other people could have walked away. But uh, we gotta get to where we wanna get to. And uh, gotta, that's when the glory will be, all of us will be happy. Uh, I, I'm always inspired in being in a winning team. And like I told him, uh, most people complain in the show because they want to blame the judges or blame all oh, what uh, I would have been placed this, I would have been placed that, but they forget. That's what I'm trying to mentor him to know that shows you win in the gym by training. Training hard, full dedication, discipline, and knowing what to do. So if you don't try what you have to try on the gym, on the competition here in the gym, how then will you win a show? So bring your A game and then walk on it on the gym and then go to the stage and have fun. That's what I've been doing. That's what has been inspiring me a lot. And also to be in the shape that I am now. I was, you know, I, I applied for the, uh, for the Arnold Classic since November last year, expecting that I would be invited for the Arnold Ohio this year. But I was preparing for that, but I wasn't invited good. It didn't bother me. I still went back. I went to the uh, expo. I was still in shape. I had to step down a little bit because I didn't want to be crazy. But if I was invited, I could have been more uh, because if I step on stage, I want to be a record. So that's the reason I'm still keeping in here. So I will be doing the Cal State uh, 
a pro show which will be coming up in May. Oh, right? scoop! And that is the that show drops. that I'm I'm stepping up to. So I could have I could have stepped in with the indie pro, but still I, I want to still step back and then do the right thing, get some, give myself some break. I'm healthy enough inside. I'm really strengthening, uh, full full of energy and strength enough to be doing this what I'm doing, and I love doing it. I want to still come back to what I was. And I'm not taking it away from you. That's Very awesome. Good. Oh, no, no. Errol, <laughs> Errol, talk to me. Teamwork here. Teamwork. Eric, talk, talk to me. Teamwork. How you, you mentioned a few names, and I know yeah. you're not a name dropper, but you you know, you know met Victor Martinez. He kind of planted the seed, yeah. hooked up with Charles, friend with Charles. Friend with you. How do you feel about having these these people in your life that are just, you know, they're legends. You know, they're great people. You're lucky, uh, man. I'm, I'm, very, uh, I'm very blessed uh, just uh, to be around so many, so many icons. Uh, like I said, Victor Martinez, uh, Chris Colmere, I first met him uh, years ago. Um, he he kind of showed me some tricks, you know. Uh, I used to work for All American Media Effects. I used to work with Flex Wheeler. So wow. I got to pick his brain a lot. Um, you know, I've been around Milos uh, before. He, he helped, uh, helped me get ready for Nationals before. That's right. I forgot yeah, about that. Right. That's right. Um, and then right now, I've uh, I've built up over his place and looked over, looking over my diet. Wow. Uh, so um, I'm very fortunate to be in this industry. I'm very blessed to meet so many people, and I, I love this industry. So uh, you must have something going for you if they're taking the time out of their day to help you out. I, I, hopefully, <laughs> I, I, hopefully, it's just a passion. You know, I'm passionate about it. So I, I, I believe it's a good energy because when you're attached with the good energy, it draws a lot of positive people. To That's the true. Work. So he has a very positive energy. And uh, like I said, he's ready to walk. So that's that's the attraction that attracts yeah. him to people that are willing to help. I agree with that. I think one thing too with me is just, uh, I'm not afraid to ask questions. Uh, I don't I don't know everything. Um, so if I see somebody that I feel is that like, and he's humble, yeah, they, they, if, they, if I can learn something from somebody, I will ask them. I'm a sponge, so Tell you I have that. no problem walking up to somebody and asking, like, "Hey, man, how do you do a side chest properly?" Or if they're known for having something, so I have no problem with that. I think. That's something to do with jazz ball too. You, you're a very, um, I can tell right away just by talking to you, it doesn't take very long to figure this out. You're a very grateful person. Oh, Sylvia's yeah. right, you're always saying thank you all the time. Yeah. And, it, and it's great that you're like that, but just like he's told you, I think what you need to remember is that you're young now, mm -hmm. but one of these days you'll be the veteran. You'll right. be the guy who knows the most. So just like he did and like a lot of people do, right. you pass it, you, you, you pay it forward. Right. Eventually, you'll help someone who's up and coming. And I think that's That'd how awesome. you say that's the best way to say yeah. thank you. Don't you agree? Right? That's awesome. That's yeah. what bodybuilding is, right? To pass along the knowledge exactly. as so you get older. That would be, so. be amazing if I could have yeah. that one day inspire the people. So. You, you, you know, that's what we're supposed to be inspiring yeah. more about this our sport. The yes. legend of this sport has to give back. Give back is not about you giving your money to people or right. community. No, giving back the knowledge yeah, that right. you have acquired for a whole year to the younger ones. Yeah. This our sport should be more interested by opening doors to the young upcoming guys. It's not about like what is going on now. A lot of people, really, we have a lot of bo pro bodybuilders that nobody's living like a pro, like when it was before. So what is going on in this sport is what we don't understand because we have to, you know, look into the issues that matters, the problems that matters, so that people like him coming up will know that I'm doing this sport with passion. Passion that turns to love, love that will turn to legacy tomorrow. That's so right. that is what it is. It's contagious. Yeah, it is. The attitude, the energy that somebody is contagious. People can pick up on that, and that's what inspires. You know, when you see someone loving so, something so much, uh, and they're doing well, you want to be like that person. So, how old are you, Errol? Uh, Thirty. Yeah. Ah, he's a baby still. All right. Oh. <laughs> <You're Welcome, son. laughs> so, okay, Indy in two weeks. What's next after that? Does it matter? Whether you win or not, do you have any other show plans? Or I'm uh, assuming it's straight to the Olympia if you win. I, I, I'm just gonna focus on Indy. Uh, um, okay, and, um, that's you know, fair. Just taking it one day at a time. Uh, okay. You know, the Nick Saban rule: we'll focus on the game ahead. And I guess I'll have to ask you after the show. Yep, yep. There we go. Follow <laughs> like up. Follow it. up. So. <laughs> I like it. So. You have uh, someone you work with and, and a, sp a sponsor, or you want to oh, yeah, thank anybody? So, or uh, I do have a full-time job. I work for New Checks Research. I'm an outside sales representative. So um, I deal with accounts, stores, distributors, nice. uh, online as well. So I want to thank New Tracks Research for, uh, for having me on board and help pay my bills. So uh, you, do, you don't just stay home and collect paychecks? No, you actually work for a living? No, 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 no. Yeah, I work. <laughs> uh, me personally, like, uh, as far as like prep goes, I like to work. Because to me, there's nothing worse than sitting at home all day. 
there's only so much HGTV I can watch to <laughs> fix her up or so I like to get out and about and kind of keep my day busy and then I also want to say thank you to Gorilla War uh, they just recently brought me on as an ambassador nice. and then I uh, make it fit mills as well too so oh nice you get some sponsor so, yeah. going yeah. Silvio you got a bit something Finally, something great happened to you just a few day, weeks ago, and I want you to. Focus on me, man. No, no, that's okay, no, man. We, <laughs> we, no, that's okay. It's big no, no. news, man. We, we, I want to give it out. Oh, you don't want to say it right now? No, no, I'm oh, okay. So Kilvin wants to keep it. Chill out, man. Okay, okay, that's cool. You want to make way. a big deal out of it? Okay. That's okay. That's okay. I might get some of that too. This guy is doing. I might get some of that too. Bro, show and he's going there killing because he looks good. He looks great. He looks great. And you know, like he said, I like his humbleness. Yeah. It's only in the sense that some people will have no, oh, I'm going there to win. No, you don't win a show without even playing. We don't, we don't win matches when we, we don't even play the matches. So that is one thing I like him about his humbleness. Yeah. He's done his job. And like I told him, stay focused. You, know, you just have to get fun. Go there and have fun. Bring what you got. Uh, yeah. That's what makes Sylvia Sango dangerous whenever I get there. Why is he not lying down, lifting up his leg? He's laughing, playing, because I've already done my job here. Yeah, in the gym. so work is done. Here, I need to have fun, so that's what yeah. you have to do. Put the mentality of a winner. Start small, but think big. That is how you go get it. Do you, right. How do you feel right now, two weeks out, versus uh, past competition? How do you feel mentally? Because uh, you look great, but it doesn't matter if I tell you that. It's how you feel that matters. I, I feel good, uh, uh, for the most part, being is that I have a really good support system. So. Um, like these guys, him, Charles, uh, Ula, uh, family, friends, like everybody's been, everybody's been awesome. Everybody's been encouraging me to finish strong, so I, I feel great. And, uh, Good. To me, uh, bodybuilding is a luxury. Uh, it's a luxury for me to be able to say no to food. There's just people out there that are starving, you know. So yeah, it's a luxury for me to be in here to be able to train because some people can't even do that. So I have nothing to complain about. So I'm I'm enjoying it right now. So. But are you are you proud or are you happy with the way you look personally? I'm I'm happy with uh I'm happy with my efforts and the work I put in. So God, this guy, man, he's so humble. <laughs> he doesn't want to brag at all. You look great, dude. I don't know what you look like before New York, before before, but you know, a mentality of a charm is that you never see how good you look, even though people are tell you that he, he he looks good. That's part of the humbleness that makes yeah, him yeah. a charm. Yeah. So uh, and uh, I, I really commend him for that because that not only does he put him in the level that he is, but it make him to work hard because he's hungry for something. Because he's never satisfied, that's, that's right. right. Yeah. That's, right. Yeah. that's awesome. I'm All, right. Be done. <laughs> All right, I like it. I like your answer. All right, man. Two weeks out from the Indie Pro, you guys. Errol Moore, keep an eye Sorry. out for him with Silvio Samuel. And you owe me a scoop, mess, mister. Oh, yes, <laughs> you better tell, right, you better right. not tell to any other platform than Jig Alert TV. Yeah, you know, he's gonna come in, yeah. <laughs> okay. A big shout to Big Jay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, right, Jay was so, really so, excited so, to have you on. Uh, so Jay, thank you as well. Obviously, I'm a huge fan of Jay, and um, he's actually the one that connects me with Mega Fit Mills, so thank you, Boom. Jay. Boom! That's uh, awesome. Look forward to seeing you again. He's keeping you this big. Okay, that's awesome. I, 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 and my message to Jay, you, don't, you never like any of my pictures or DVD. <laughs> <laughs> Jay, start liking Silvio's picture. All right, man. I don't thank, know what I did. Yeah. <laughs> thank you so much, you guys. Great chomp. Tell him great chomp. Great chomp. Great chomp. Yeah, that's, that's All right. Good luck in two weeks, my friend.